What's good YouTube? It's Ty and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, if you enjoy videos on self-help, becoming your best version, dating advice and more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Your help will be very appreciated. Now today, I'm going to be talking about winter tiredness. Obviously, depending on where you are in the world, where you're watching this, your season may, might be different. But over here, it's winter in London. Um, and I notice something a lot in this type of weather. I, I get, how to describe it? It's like a, a cold headache, if that makes any sense. Like I feel that there's a lot of pressure behind my eyes. And this is a frequent thing that I've noticed in the winter time. And, you know, I feel like a lot of the time I might start eating very bad foods and all of these things because I guess the seasons change. You know, your body tries to adapt to certain things and then, you know, you start taking on certain habits. But what I've tried to do this time is really be more aware of what I'm eating because in summertime, it's very easy for me to eat very good foods. You know, it's hot, you're having more smoothies, you're having all of these things that are very good for you. But in winter, a lot of people tend to neglect foods that are actually going to help them throughout winter, um, especially people of colour, melanated people. Obviously, there's not, there's no, basically no sun out here. So, you know, I would so definitely suggest getting some supplements for yourself, um, you know, such as vitamin D. I've actually got, I've got to collect some vitamin D tablets. And um, there's another thing as well that I use is called Floridix and it's um i believe it's got iron and something else in it but those are the things that are going to help you in times like this having like somewhat of a healthy diet to get you through these times and you know you can sort of get the benefits of the fruits and vegetables that you're eating and that's one of the ways you can overcome your winter tiredness um i'll say another way as well is actually being outdoors so I'm going to put something up now and sometimes I just like, even in general, I don't care what season it is. I just like to go for walks. I like to just be in nature, get my mind right. You know, many a times I've spoken about the benefits of being outside in nature. Um, even in times like this, there is benefits for you to actually be outside, you know, so don't just, if you can, if you can help it anyway, because I know everyone's life is different and everyone's setup is different and how much time they have in a day and all of this stuff that allows them to do or not do certain things so whenever you do get a chance just make sure that you go out there just enjoy nature i know it's not the best weather but you know even if it's 30 minutes you just walk around the park a couple of times and then you go back home or whatever you need to do i definitely suggest something like that in these times because you don't want to totally isolate yourself from the world even though obviously we're in a lockdown, but don't just stay inside and not go outside because you're going to feel even worse when you actually do eventually go outside. Um, another thing I would say as well, sleep is a very, very big thing um, in general. And I don't get as much as I should, but I've been practicing how to sort of get better sleep. Now, one of the things I do recommend is um, white noise. Um, there's sleeper music. Um there's so much different channels but i like listening to some jazz channels sometimes jazz music to help me sleep because i'm very into like coffee shops and and stuff like that so there's a particular one there's loads of different ones that have do the same thing but it's just like a coffee shop atmosphere um with like the music and maybe like a slight chatter in the background i like hearing stuff before i sleep but that's what helps me but yeah you guys as well if you have no trouble sleeping then great but if you do i definitely suggest listening to some white noise or sleeper music that will help you um through the season it's just it's just so good to get sleep in general and you'll sort of see how how you feel in comparison to when you don't get sleep because i know there was um a guy that my friend was telling me about and he was boasting about how he didn't get sleep in a, in a way that he, oh he's a machine you know he's always working he's always doing this he's always doing that and then unfortunately he passed because he wasn't getting enough rest so you have to try and get as much sleep as you can you know 
and don't feel lazy for it because i used to be like oh i have to get up at this time but i feel like you don't necessarily have to get up at a certain time unless you really need to you know unless you have stuff to do but on your days off especially try to just get as much sleep as you need um another thing i'd say as well is don't let stress strain you in these times in general and it's just weird how everyone sort of feels similar in these times but a lot of people do feel a lot more drained and that's why the previous statement about sleep is very important but also you know don't let the stress add on to the way that you're feeling as well you know i believe stress management is very very important so you know i've got videos on that but i'm not going to go into detail um but if you look through some of my videos you can sort of pick certain things to help you deal with you know stress and stress management um let's see what else i've got on my list um oh also a very good point as well is that don't sleep in the room that is too hot now in times like this we do tend to sleep in hotter rooms obviously to try and keep us off warm we don't want to feel like we're outside but you shouldn't have it too hot now the reason why you don't want to have it too hot is because now you tend to oversleep and you don't want to oversleep you want to have a room temperature of about 20 to 22 degrees um to ensure you have the best sleep so just just enough you know not too hot not too cold um yeah it, it, when you're sleeping in a hot room sometimes it can make you feel like you haven't got enough sleep and it just makes you feel tired it makes you feel drained so you have to make sure that your room is just the right temperature you know and um another thing last but not least and it's one of the things that i preach most of the time on here is exercise 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 like i couldn't be bothered to exercise yesterday but i was like you know what let me do something and make sure that i feel better within myself so i've done a short session and i felt better for it one thing you shouldn't neglect in these times is exercise exercise is so important you know and it's going to make you feel so much better and not make you feel so sluggish as well um you know again i've made videos on places you can work out things you can do alternatively from the gym because obviously the gyms are closed so i do suggest that you sort of check out some of my videos or even just look on google and see of some of the options that you can actually pick for yourself and what suits you and your lifestyle because everyone's life and lifestyle is very different but at the least at the minimum you could at least go for like a 30 minute walk so 15 minutes to somewhere 15 minutes back home it's as simple as that you don't have to be complicated with it but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll see you again take care <laughs>